This is the most recognizable man in Russian handball. He is Yevgeny Trefilov. His charisma draws plenty of attention to the sport. However, of much more importance is how he has helped to mentor and create a winning spirit within his teams. It seems that Trefilov is very straightforward both as a coach and as a person. He says what he thinks, what he does not like, and perhaps he can be a bit too rigid. He has got his relationship with his team down to a fine art. He is a psychologist, motivator and strategist all in one. Despite being a man, he has become the face of women's handball. It is unique and also intriguing. Every coach has his own faults, believe me, and most coaches work and train as they were coached. I mean, a person has it fixed in his brain, what he was taught a long time ago, and how he was coached. Why is the army so strict? Because that's the way it's always been. It's the same in coaching. I was probably coached very strictly. Yevgeny Trofilov in his interviews always looks at things from a perspective of his country and its interests. We can say that he is an example of a true patriot. The man who recognizes that all is not well in Russia, but it is his homeland and it must be loved. Well, I am Russian and yes, I can be careless. I can't be like the Germans. I can't stand how he can be so pedantic at times. You know, when everything is neatly placed on the shelves from top to bottom. We must laugh at ourselves, perhaps even make fun of ourselves. Yes, that's fine. Tell me, in which country would you stop on the road and run into the woods? Let me see. Yes, we have bad toilets, but you can't do that in other countries. We have bad roads. Well, okay. We'll survive, guys. In training, Yevgeny Trofilov is like dynamite. One spark is enough. He does not tolerate any slacking or any mistakes. He also demands that his players give their best. The team begins with him. If the girls or coaching staff do not complete the tasks they are given, he will be in a rage. You need to do it in one second. Where is it? You won't have much time. Maybe someone grumbles. But when, after the end of the game, people have improved their level slightly and moved forward a step or two, all is forgotten. All this disappears. Well, I can give you an example. In Astrakhan, when we won on this occasion, I stood up and I apologized for what I had said earlier. Comparisons that I've made may not have been the most flattering for the girls, but things like this happen. This is the most popular video with Yevgeny Trefilov. With Russia battling it out against Poland to try and book their place in Rio, he lost his voice. However, he still managed to get everything out of his team. Here we need science. Sticking two fingers in the socket doesn't work anymore. You must understand what you are doing every day. For the athletes, their time is limited. It is 20 years, well, 27 years. But then some might have already peaked. Some girls play until they're 30. Then they become mothers and quit the sport. Yevgeny Trofilov does not like weekends. Handball is his life and it's much more important to him in comparison to the girls on the team. He has been working with the national teams since 1993, and he has seen a lot. Of course, it's funny when it comes to doping in handball. Look at his side. The team's head coach is all they need, and they certainly don't need any stimulants. Is everything all right? How do you want us to answer? 
All right. Let them come. Well, they came to us in Astrakhan at six o'clock in the morning. They ran to the wrong hotel and started to yell, you do not live there, you do not sleep there. Thanks to the governor, he moved us to another hotel and they had the wrong information. And the most interesting thing is that Russians came and started to yell. They were given a task. Why were you yelling? You're a Russian just like me. We have vitamins like rose hips. And I remember in the 1960s, the doctor says, use camphor oil and everything will be healed. It's the same story here. We do not have everything right now, especially in sports. Well, if you have no money at all, it means that you'll have nothing. So you're clean. Yevgeny Trofilov is always on the sidelines during games, but he makes sure he does not go over the line. After the game, it is evident that he has given everything. This is something that fans of Russian handball have grown accustomed to over the years, with Yevgeny Trofilov at the helm. He is not that keen on foreign players playing in Russia. In fact, he strongly opposes them. Everybody knows that, but he has nothing against foreigners. He just wants to prove that Russians are better. Of course I like Germans. I just envy them sometimes. Of course they have everything going for them. But we are who we are. Let's be better ourselves. We will quietly become better. Not everything is so awful. Some people say that Russia is bad. But where were you born? Wysotsky had an excellent song. I've forgotten the words already. There was something bad about Russia. We know where we are. This is my team. Yes, I can criticize it, but it's mine. If I shout, they will do better. Or climb on a roof and take off your pants and cry that someone will help you. You must just do the work yourself. So we are working. After the silver medal in the Olympic Games in Beijing, the team gave Yevgeny Trofilov a new watch, and Russia will be hoping he will be given a new one just after Rio on August 20. I just want to say, I really want this, but this is the last time I will say this. Maybe after August 20, I will say it again.